Okay. Hey, people. All right. Um, as you can see, I'm off trail again. And this time, I think, as far as the PCT is concerned, this time I think I'm off trail for good. Um, I am healthy. My feet have given me no problems. <laughs> Lower elevation, my lungs are liking me again. But I came off trail for completely different reasons. Um, I finished my, my point to Merino. I was very happy about that. The cheeseburger was awesome. But the style of hiking just wasn't for me. Um, I don't want to put in miles every day. I don't want to be forcing on a forced march. I've got to get there. I've got to get there. I've got to get there. I enjoy nature. I want to stop and look around and, you know, I had ravens flying 30 feet over my head. And by the time I got down into that canyon where the water was, I was able to tell the four different ravens apart because, you know, different feathers missing on the wings and stuff. And, and that's, I enjoyed that about nature, but when I was trudging from one place to the next and I just got to get there, I just got to get there, I just got to get there. And it didn't matter if I was feeling good and moving well, and it didn't matter if I was gassing and sucking air. I didn't enjoy the trudge. I enjoyed the nature. And if I had the trudge, I couldn't have the nature. And if I had the nature, I couldn't, I couldn't do the trudge. And so basically I found what I thought was going to be a dream come true for me ended up really making me not like something I've loved my whole life. So that's not a, that's not a place you ought to be, but I learned a lot on this trip. Um, again, for example, I don't enjoy through hiking. I enjoy destination hiking, go in four or five, seven, 10 miles and camp for a week and enjoy the area. Hike back out. I enjoy that, but just going and going and going it, it felt like a race to nowhere. And I, it, I have the utmost authority, uh, utmost authority, the utmost respect for those who do it. I take nothing from you. I am in no way bad mouthing you. It's just not for me. Um, that said, there's a couple points I'd like to talk about though. Um, the amount of trash on the trail. I have heard rumors and everything else about late in the season about how ugly and trashed the trail gets. I saw five pieces of trash on the trail total, including two tent stakes that were obviously forgotten by accident. And I saw two places where people had left toilet paper off the side of the trail. But in 20 miles, that's all I saw of human existence from this recent season, which really, I was impressed with how well we as hikers and as outdoors people were maintaining the trail and we're, we're really respecting it. Now on the idea of trail maintenance, um, wow, it was overgrown. It, we were bushwhacking everywhere. Um, but that's to be expected with the, as much rain as we had this year. That was just phenomenal. Um, if you watch the other videos, there's or and see some of the other pictures, there's a place where bushes are coming in from both sides and they're crossing into each other. The only thing that saw the trail in that point was my feet because that was the only thing walking on the trail. Everything else was just bushes up to here. And doesn't make it easy, and but it, sure, it really was pretty. <laughs> Good and bad, right? And another point, that, that, you know, the of the trail maintenance is 
big rocks in the trail. And I don't mean like in the ground. I mean big loose rocks on the trail. Stuff that are ankle breakers that trail maintenance, you know, routine routinely would clear. And I was kind of surprised and saddened to see how much of that was there. Because this is a national treasure type trail, you know, it's like Route 66. It's the PCT, you know, it should be kept and maintained. And because it was made for a reason and it should maintain that reason. Um, enough on that. Now, something else that was a thing for me, I didn't like chasing water. Today was, this year was wet. Now, I'm way late in the season. To be hiking this in June is crazy, okay? It's absolute madness. It's just not done. And there's good reason for that. Now, um, I had two hard point, there will be water here, according to my maps. I found two more really good flowing seeps that could have been classified as a small creek or brook or something, but they were just seeps. Seasonal, temporary, and unique to this year. If I hadn't had those extra two, I don't know that I'd have made the 20 miles. I hike too slowly. I'm too busy looking around and enjoying where I'm at. I'm not looking to pound the miles. That's just not me. So if I hadn't had those extra two water points this this last week, I'd have I'd have been in real trouble. Um point of that looking forward on the trail, when I was to leave here and go to the deserts in the local area and going through Mojave and Anza Borrego and these places, I realized that I don't hike fast enough. I would not make it between water sources. Even if I'd have left in March when there was water everywhere in the deserts, I would not have made it between these water sources. And I'd have been in real trouble. I mean, you know, you'd have to bring me a go-kart to be able to get there in time. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Again, finding out through hiking is just not for me. Now, beyond that, elevations. I found out that I'm good for about 2,800 feet. I start going above that and my lungs start screaming at me. They're really unhappy. And some of the videos you saw where I'm, you know, you're knowing I'm at higher elevation and I'm talking and I'm, I had to sit and rest 10, 15, 20, sometimes 30 minutes to be able to make those videos and be, you know, comprehensible because I just wasn't breathing. I was just sucking air. And so knowing that, you know, 9,000 feet was coming, 5,000 feet going straight up to 6,000 feet in less than a mile was coming, knowing these things, this was a, a really big test for me to find out, could I hang? Well, here's the deal. I proved I can backpack. I proved I can carry my weight. I proved I can get my way through. I can, But it also proved my lungs won't handle the elevation. And... There's a choice to make. I can be somebody who's helping others. Or I can be the guy who has others rescuing me from a really bad location. 
common sense and intelligence says don't put yourself in a situation you can't handle and I now know my lungs So to end this on a better note, um, Fuzzy, you'll see a picture of him here somewhere. Um, <laughs> I met him on Tuesday going up that god awful hill and I was sucking pretty bad and I was in pretty bad shape and we stopped and we talked for a while and then he continued on and by the time I put my pack, I, he continued on and I put my pack on. And I turned around and he was gone. And I kept looking up the hill, thinking I'd see him in a switchback or something. Or maybe see him cresting the hill as I was halfway up at something. And I never saw him again. And I told you I'd been hearing voices on the wind, so now I'm wondering, was Fuzzy real? Or was he a figment of my imagination? And I really didn't know. And... So I went to bed that night not knowing if Fuzzy was a real person or not. And so I, you know, next day I get up and I hike my ass into town and I get in there. And the first thing I do is I go to the, the campground and the PCT section and go hike it, you know, going all the way to the back. I, man, you get to that campground. It's a half mile from one side to the other. <laughs> I finally, I trudged all the way across that thing and I looked up and there's Fuzzy and I was like, Fuzzy! Oh my God, I'm so glad to see you. You're real. <laughs> uh, and the funnier thing about it is he's looking going, yeah, dude, I'm real. <laughs> but so made a friend on the trail and he turned out to be a real person. Other people saw him too. <laughs> I was really questioning it there for a while. Um, I was wondering if I was going to have to go get some special meds. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so Fuzzy's a good guy, and I hope to, you know, keep up with him in the future, and who knows, maybe we'll go and get in trouble sometime. But um, yeah, so there you have it.